Hi everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys the brush stroke that I forgot to show you in my last video. I was showing you guys some easy brush strokes that I use um, when I paint flowers. And so I had shown you uh, the bamboo shoot with the little petals that kind of look like leaves or feathers. I had also shown you this petal. And I had also shown you the um, this uh, little petal that looks kind of like the center of a rose or uh, a rosebud. But I had neglected to show you guys this one. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. I'm going to be using the same colors that I used in that last video. So uh, they are uh, acrylic water-based paints by Anita. So I have wine and light coral. And then for the leafing, I have lime and shamrock. And then I also have Anita, or it's actually apple barrel white, if I should need it at all. So I poured out two little areas of paint, the wine and the light coral, a little ways away from each other. And I'm going to be using this flat brush. Some tutorials online I've seen they use a, uh, they use a, a round brush, but I use a flat brush. So. so then what I do is on one side of the brush, I tap it in the red, dark red. Try to get a little bit of that paint on there and then on the other side of the brush I tap it into the light coral I don't smear it or spread it blend it at all um, with each other and then I take the brush and I like to have a little bit more of the dark um, the dark at the back so I'm going to put the dark of the brush towards the paper and I'm just using regular white paper this paint actually does work a little bit better on thicker paper and probably would work um, better uh, with that flowing medium but just for the purpose of this video I'm just going to show you just put the brush down and you lift up wiggle the brush back and forth don't put too much pressure push up and then pull back down and kind of curve the brush around and that gives you a little bit of that uh, of that brush stroke and I'll just do another one for you you want to try to keep as much of the paint on there as possible that way it gives it a little bit more flowing so it can flow through itself because that, that light coral has a little bit of work to do so move the brush back and forth push up on the brush and down and kind of turn it around I'll do it another time here. So I'll do it inverted this time. I'll put the, the light brush, the light of the, the light paint down on the paper. Push down on the brush, wiggle it back and forth a little bit, push up, and then pull back down and swirl. And then one more time. Down push up, wiggle the brush back and forth, push up so the brush arches and then pull down just like that. And that is that brush stroke. So now if you wanted to add leaves to that, um, what I do is I'm going to be using that shamrock again. I'm going to pour two little drops onto my plate like I did the other colors. And then I am going to, I'm actually, I'd like to add a third, um, I'd actually like to add a third petal onto one of those so that I can get the, um, so I can get that right, so I can make the leafing right for you, because it'll look better. So down, push up, and swirl. So I'll do the, I'll do the leaves on this one here. On, on my picture, I use a smaller brush and so um, they go across all the way across 
So there's uh, there's four of them across there, and then, then I start coming in. This is just an example, so um, it's not exactly how I would, I would do it, um, but that's just so I can show you the brush stroke with a larger brush. And so then for the leafing, what I do is I take a little round brush and I put light and dark on one, light on one side, dark on the other. And then I put it down, same kind of a concept, but I'm going backwards with it and I kind of lift up. So light, dark, and I put the brush down and then lift up. And then one more time over here on this side, push the brush down, up, and then pull the, oops, that one, got to get it to the pull, and then drag the brush off. And then you can take that same brush, it's a little, this one's a little bit smaller so I can use it as a liner as well. So um, I actually will put one more of those right down the middle here. Push down and then bring it up, just like that. And then I'm going to do the line. So I just add a curvy line. Nothing perfect, just a little curve in there like that. And then you can also make your leafing out of this, or you can do the leafing um, I'm going to show you the leaf like this, uh, like this uh, stroke using a smaller brush. So on one side it'll be, on one side it's the light, on the dark side, on the other side it's the dark side, <laughs> it's, the dark, it's the dark color. <laughs> and then you just push the brush down, lift up on the brush, wiggle it back and forth, push up and down. So that can make a leaf. And I don't know if you guys got to see that or not, but I'll try that again. So you take light on one side, dark on the other. And you push it down. Lift up on your brush. Move it back and forth. And then push up on the paper. And curve down. Just like that. So then if you wanted to add your other, uh, your other leaves, That's doing the other technique, which is um, you're putting the light color on the top half of the brush and then the dark color on the bottom part of the brush. And this is where you would blend the colors together like this. It's a little bit smaller brush, so I need to add a little bit more of the light just like that. So you get kind of like a, a little bit of blending going on. Okay, add a little bit more. And then you can add the brush down and kind of wiggle it, just like that. And I'll do one more for you. Put the brush down and kind of wiggle it so you get a little bit of meshing of those colors together, just like that. So, those are the brush strokes for the flower that I accidentally left out. And um, a good way to divide the colors up is um, you know, on this paper, it's a little bit hard, it's a little bit drier, but you can still see the definition of the petals. Um, and also using a little bit smaller brush helps, um, unless you're on a very, very large area. But I just wanted to be able to show you what the actual brush stroke looks like. It does a lot better when you can view it with a large brush. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.